Welcome to the all new Sports Visions on Bounce TV and to our worldwide web viewers on www.sportsvisionsusa.com. Hello, everybody. I'm DJ Jones alongside my good friend and traveling partner, Dale Williams. How are you, sir? What's up, player? Man, we got a lot going on. We're going to talk about Kobe's last <laughs> NBA All Star game and the festivities that went on in Toronto. We got the Major League Baseball players reporting to camp the pitchers and catchers reporting this week, as well as the local state playoffs as far as high school basketball is concerned, and a whole lot more. Whole lot more, DJ, and don't forget about the Chattahoochee Valley Hall of Fame player. All that and more coming up next on Sports Visions. We love Legacy Chevrolet Cadillac of Columbus. And fishing in Eufaula. And, and hiking, hiking in Pine Mountain. Mountain. The race track, track in Phoenix City. City. And all the soldiers at Fort Benning. And you'll love these great deals. 0% interest for 72 months on all Chevy products. Or receive up to $11,000 in rebates on our 2015 Camaro Z28. And Legacy is offering up to $62.50 in rebates on all Chevy All-Star 1500 trucks. Chevrolet, find new roads. Scott Sawyer with Diverse Power. Diverse Power wants our customers to enjoy all the benefits that reliable, consistent electric service provides. Our BPI certified technicians offer duct blaster testing of your HVAC ductwork to locate leaks. We also offer a full blower door examination that will qualify homeowners and home builders to meet the new Energy Code building standards. At Diverse Power, we offer innovation through vision, quality through service. Its sleek design is mold breaking. Its intelligent drive systems, paradigm shifting. Its technology-filled cabin, jaw-dropping. Its performance, breathtaking. Its self-breaking, show-stopping. The all-new GLC. Mercedes-Benz resets the bar for the luxury SUV. Starting at $38,950. Welcome back to Sports Visions. I guess, Dale, we'll just start in chronological order as, as, as it pertains to the news. We knew that last weekend the NBA, uh, they had a break. Of course, the, uh, one of their most celebrated uh, opportunities to do their NBA All-Star Game and the festivities in Toronto. And you know what? I'm proud to say that this has probably been one of the most enjoyable NBA All-Star Games, All Games in quite some time. Very enjoyable. You know, a lot of fan, uh, fanfare. Uh, and we already knew about that. They did a great job up in Toronto bringing that international flavor to the NBA. But the game was a record-breaking game, 193 to 176, 369 points. Halftime score, 92-90. I mean, really, it was a fun game. But one of the things I was mostly excited about was the slam dunk contest. The slam dunk contest to me is back. The Zach Levine winning for the second time in the last two years and Aaron Gordon winning. That was the best slam dunk contest since I've seen Dominique and Michael Jordan, DJ. You said a mouthful there, even though those names don't ring out at us as, you know, as superstars. But again, the athleticism, oh. uh, the precision, the power that those guys, you know, portrayed during their dunking, it was great. definitely a very entertaining. The three-point contest was great. Two players from the same team. That's right. Two players, you know, Clay Thompson, you know, and Steph, you know, Steph Curry, 27, 23. And, you know, everybody tried to go for that 25. Well, Clay Thompson, 27, step 23. It goes to show you how good of a team the Golden State Warriors are, and they have an arsenal of three-point shooters. It's kind of finishing off talking about the uh, NBA festivities. You know, it was Corp it, Kobe Bryant's last NBA All-Star game, and, you know, after 18 years, you know, it was just a sentimental time. And, again, it was just, uh, just a little soft spot in my heart to see Kobe. He, though he's not the Kobe that you remember being the superstar that – you know, that glided through the lanes and shot the long shots and slam dunked on some of the best. But the fact that we had an opportunity to see him one last time and the peers, his younger players in the league, the respect that they showed for him, that's, that's, that's something to be talked about. You know, that's something really, DJ, I, I was a little bit almost surprised. You know, when you think of Kobe Bryant, you know, the Black Mamba, L.A. Lakers going out as a winner, him not going out as a winner and the Lakers being just playing dismal as they've been playing in the last couple of years, that was kind of my soft spot. But I think really the plays, the fans, and everywhere that Kobe goes this year, people are really, you know, setting it out for him, DJ, and just basically, saying, you know, really showing their appreciation that he is one of the greatest players in the NBA. But more so than anything, I think everybody wished that the Lakers were back to where they were. And we've heard this time and time again, and, uh, you know, when you talk about a player like Kobe going out, 
obviously the Super Bowl, most recent. Uh, when you talk about Peyton Manning going out, John Elway going building out. a defense That's and right. players around him. When you talk about, uh, you know, some of the other people that were going out, you know, but you got, Mike, you got, a, you got a situation with Kobe. Nothing was done. And, again, I hate to talk about the, the Lakers <laughs> front office, but something's got to change in order for that franchise to get back to where they need to be. Well, I think really, DJ, everybody knows that now, and I think really they're feeling some repercussions also. They wanted to send Kobe out big time, like they sent out Jabbar, the Shaq, though, and Magic Johnson. They wanted to do those things too. But I think when Jeannie Butts gets rid of her brother and gets uh, Mitch Kupchak back in and Jerry West back into the fold, the Lakers will start rebuilding with some basketball guys, with some legends, and start putting some money back into getting some caliber players. But I really think they're going to start doing a little whole lot more and probably do better as player personnel is concerned. Because I got a funny feeling that Westbrook piece always kind of steps out at me, DJ, because he is from UCLA and he's from Los Angeles. I can see him going back and I can see them, you know, building some other pieces around Westbrook. And in, in, in continuation of what you're saying, just a little small nugget, Jerry West, of course, the, uh, the conductor and the, and the constructor of those multiple championships. That's right. He just so happens to be a consultant for the Golden State Warriors. Isn't that Go figure. <laughs> Isn't that some player? You know, the logo, you know, LA, you know, LA to the tr true and true, he's the consultant for the Golden State Warriors. I think there's a lot of things got in. You know, while we're talking about the NBA, DJ, this, had, this is going to be the last week for the trade deadline. There's a lot of names out there. If somebody's going to get ready to get dealt, a big time team is going to try to make a run. But it's going to be some big players dealt, man. I hear that the big, some of the big rumblings, obviously, uh, you know, Houston and Miami are, are talking about Whiteside and, yeah. and are talking about, uh, of course, Dwight. Big Dwight yeah. swapping teams. But more importantly, a little closer to home, the Atlanta Hawks. And we talked about this several weeks ago when we heard and talked about uh, who the Hawks could possibly get to make them better and some of the trade bait. And we talked about, you know, not only Kyle Korver, who everybody says around playoff time, everybody wants a shooter. That's so right. he has a value. And then when you talk about uh, the point guard, uh, the young point guard, they have two point guards. That's right. And uh, in particular, which one do you let go? Well, I, if I had to let go one, I would, I would let go. I'm, I'm going to go with, if I had to let one go out, Dennis Schroeder. I had to get rid of him. I know he's going to be good down the line. But at the same time, if I had to, DJ, I'm going to have to take that risk with Kyle Culver. I need a big guy. I really need a big guy to push the ball up and get some rebounds. They need a big-time player in the middle. And, you know, if you haven't been playing for me before the first half, you know, it might not be – it'll probably be the same thing in the second half. But if I had to get, get rid of I got to get rid of Kyle. A wild card to throw in there, just something to think about. It's all talk, you know, speculations and rumors uh -oh. around the deadlines. But you talk about Carmelo Anthony going over to Cleveland for Kevin Love. I don't think that's going to happen, but there's even been talk about that. They've been talking about that. I mean, you know, giving away Kevin Love, and he would, Kevin Love would end up with Boston, and Carmelo would end up with the Cavaliers. And I'm like, whoa, you know, how, how does that going to figure? But like I said, you know, I, I, just keeping it local here, man, I, I sure wish they could get Dwight Howard in Atlanta. You know what? Again, you know, we talk about Dwight. We love Dwight. Dwight is phenomenal talent. He's done some phenomenal things. He's averaged over his career 18, 10, and 7. 18 points, uh, 10 rebounds, and seven blocks. I mean, realistic on paper, that's phenomenal. Yeah. But uh, who is Dwight in the locker room? Wow. Who is Dwight? Is he, is he serious about the game? <laughs> well, we, should, we, <laughs> we saw that firsthand when he was with Orlando. I just think, you know, maybe this will be a wake-up call for him. You know, him might be, in, be able to be comfortable in Atlanta. Uh, I, I, I just think the, the, the Hawks need a big player, a big-time player, a big guy, a center, a real traditional center. All right. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back. Sports Vision is sponsored by Aflac, Crown Royal, Express Motors, Diverse Powers. Truth be truth. The will to win will win. So intimidate your darkest fear. Revive every forgotten fantasy. Set goals you can never reach, then reach them. Count cards to fight fates that deck. And if you want to win as much as you want to live, you're ready to reign on. Someone's 
sandbagging. I'd be tired, too. He paid my claim in one day when I got hurt. One day? Serious hustle. Serious duck. In just one day, we process a proven pay. One day pay, only from Aflac. A smile is the most admirable thing you can wear. And for anyone age 1 to 101, Cook Dental Care has a smile for you. Dr. Kathy L. Cook offers a wide range of individualized, innovative services from basic preventative dentistry to specialized care. We provide comprehensive dental care for the entire family, including pediatric. Insurance, financing, walk-ins, and new patients are always welcome. So for your family's dental care, visit Cook Dental Care. Welcome back to Sports Visions. Locally, man, we got a lot going on. Of course, this week uh, it started at Carver with uh, the George Washington Carver Golden Football presentation, of course. And you know that's in conjunction with the 50th anniversary of the NFL's Super Bowl. And uh, again, you know, the media, for the most part, throughout the Chattahoochee Valley has done a tremendous job with several players and several schools in this area. However, on Friday, Carver High School, George Washington Carver High School, and get this, I know a lot of folks probably had no idea that there were four players that played on Super Bowl teams to the total uh, tune of nine different Super Bowls. And mm. the Golden Ball presentation, I had the opportunity to host it. And, of course, uh, honored Brinson Buckner, Rod Hood, and Nate Odoms. That's big, man. You know, Nate, oh, Nate four times? Four times. Four times going to the Super Bowl. You know, I remember Brinson. I remember Rod when he was with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. And, of course, you with the Denver Broncos. A lot of people don't realize that that Carver has that kind of favor, and the, the Columbus area, Chattahoochee Valley area, have those potential players, those NBA, I mean, excuse me, NFL potential players. But hey, right here, Chattahoochee Valley. Columbus. And, and I know Dale. I know you know we get killed a lot because obviously I'm an alumnus, and mm -hmm. and of course uh, you grew up in the neighborhood. However, when you really just think about how this, uh, you know, how the dynamics of this thing. First of all, Carver High School in those times, in the '70s and '80s which, uh, of course, all four of these players, or including myself, played, it wasn't a beautiful institution that, it's, that it is on the hill right now. Of course, all the elaborate facilities. Carver, realistically, was a school that not many people thought much of. Not much of. You know, really, at, in the day, it was more of a basketball school. You know, but I always had athletes. It was known for having athletes in that whole East Carver High, East Wind, Beautiful Road, East Columbus area. That is known, and that's still noted today. But at the same time, you know, didn't have the facility, didn't have the school that is there now. But, I mean, for as sports and athletes, athletics are concerned, when Coach, Coach Davis' tenure, all these guys, y'all played for Coach Davis. And when that tenure came around, that's when some athleticism became, you know, winning state championships with Dale McGee and that crew. But it's a lot of players that call for, and really, I think a lot of people don't realize that until probably they see this show. And they say, man, really, that's... That's true. Four players played in the Super Bowls, uh, nine Super Bowls, and all of them went to Carver. Absolutely. And again, uh, just to elaborate on it, I want to thank uh, Principal Chris Lindsay. Of course, uh, Coach Lindsay, Chris called him Coach Lindsay because in his previous years he did coach. So I still call him Coach Lindsay. But Chris Lindsay, the principal at Carver High School, called me and told me that, hey, look, we need to make this special. This is historic. You know, I don't know if, 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 if there's another school in the southeast that has this many players coming from one school, much less, of course, George Washington Carver High School and a historic event. And I also made a request to Coach uh, Lindsey. I said, uh, Chris, make sure that every student in the school can be a part of this. Ninth graders, 10th graders, 11th graders, and the 12th graders, because this is history. And again, this is Carver at its finest. And having those players to come back, and make that presentation and for these young people, because you know, people much less other than this show, they wouldn't have known about what my uh, uh, you know, career was like, much less Nate Odoms, Rod, and Brisson. But now to see them come back and see the significance and in the, in the, in the blaze of the trail that they blazed, it meant a lot. Well, it means a lot, DJ, but you, one thing you can, uh, you don't have to worry about, the people at Carver are going to let you know. <laughs> so you're going to find out. If you don't know, you're going to find out. But really, it's a great uh, a great honor. It's a great deal with the NFL and, and really being honoring Carver High School. But really, the Nate Peace, four Super Bowls, and, and Rod, you know, and you, I mean, and Brinson, that's that's nine Super Bowls, and that's really big. And the only thing that I my regret is that I wish football season was still going on. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, while we're talking about Carver High School and the superlatives, hey, the Chattahoochee Valley Sports Hall of Fame will be tonight. And guess what? Another 
Carver High School, George Washington Carver High School athlete, will be inducted. Tim Walton, who is now the defensive back coach with the New York Giants. And, of course, Tim had a, a decorated career at Carver High School, went on to be a, a, a standout player at Ohio State and a team captain. He's going to be inducted along with some other friends of ours. Well, you know, the, the big thing with Tim is, is big with me is that Tim also, you mentioned the coaching piece, Tim has coached with some of the greatest coaches of all time, from, from Nick Saban to Tom Coughlin. I mean, this guy has been on staffs over from, from Ohio State to LSU, the New York Jets, Memphis. I mean, he has a resume that probably is going to be spilled out tonight at the Hall of Fame, but he has been around some great coaches. Another friend of ours that we'd like to – just congratulate uh, just to name a few. Billy Blanchard, of course, mm -hmm. that name is synonymous in this town. Of course, a lot of you folks in the financial service industry remember that name from Sonova CBNT. But a lot of folks didn't realize that Billy Blanchard was a very, very talented golfer. Two st state championship teams out of Valdosta and one at Columbus High School. Uh, and so three state championship <laughs> teams and also a member of the Augusta National. I mean, really, man, you, you, I'm, I'm sitting here stunned, you know. <laughs> All I know is Billy Blanchard from the banking industry, you know, financials, you know, pay, you know, CBNT, the chairman of the board of this, the chairman of the board of that, and really, but the Augusta National piece, that's real big. Man. Absolutely, absolutely. Tell you what we're going to do, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Philip Dabbitt with ENS Men's Clothing Warehouse. We'd like to say thank you, Columbus and the Bay City area, for 20 great years on Macon Road in the heart of Columbus. We're inviting you out to our 20th anniversary sale with bigger savings and deals than ever before. To help show our appreciation, ENS is offering complete suit and touch packages only $99. Jackets, pants, shirts, and ties, a $199 value for just $99. Find us on Facebook for details on how to win a suit or tux package. Come celebrate our 20th anniversary, ENS, where you get more for a whole lot less. If you're looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle, come see us at Express Motors, 1210 14th Street, Phoenix City, Alabama. Or give us a call, 334-384-9101. With hundreds of vehicles to choose from. In-house financing, the right vehicle at the right price for you. We don't want all your business, just yours. Come see us, 1210 14th Street, Phoenix City, Alabama. Or go online, www.expressmotorspc.com. Departure, arrival, search, post, chat, check in. New foods, new fun, new favorites. All right, new clients. Don't stop there. Explore, discover, connect, grow, celebrate, work, live, play. At Hilton Garden Inn, we know you'll love our cook-to-order breakfast, first-rate amenities, and award-winning service. So count on us to give you all the ways to make the most of every stay. Hilton Garden Inn. It's better at the garden. Welcome back to Sports Visions. I tell you what, sports goes on and on and That's on. Right. And while we're talking, let's let's bring it home. Let's bring it a little local because we've had the opportunity for several men and women's programs to go on, and I say men and women, boys and girls high school programs to participate in the state championship. And I'm talking about to the likes of Carver, Kendrick, and Columbus girls, you know, competing for a state championship. And then on the boys' side, you got, you know, Northside, Shaw, LaGrange, as well as Carver. So a lot of schools in the area having an opportunity to vie for a state championship. Again, DJ, you know, we've just been very blessed for this area to be so competitive and have those kind of teams, the historically good teams in this area, in football, basketball, baseball, you name it, the city of Columbus is going to be represented. I think it's a great opportunity for us to just kind of mention a little bit. I know we came out with our last magazine. By the way, we're, we'll talk a little bit about our magazine a little bit later because yeah. it's, it's almost time for another one. But the mm -hmm. basketball players during the preseason that we – thought that you should keep an eye on. They didn't let us down. Tatiana Wyatt, Wyatt an outstanding player at Columbus High School. Uh, she has had a phenomenal season. She's one of the reasons why the Columbus Lady Blue Devils have done so well, and they're competing for state championship. Alexis Burns over at Carver, uh, again, one of the players there, just to mention, uh, as far as the, the female side. On the male side, of course, you know, there's several players over there, you know, because we talk, Daniel Melvin from Carver has done well, as well as uh, Devon. It was from Shaw. Right. Yeah, he's done a great job as well. So, you know what? Uh, I like the fact that we give kids uh, an opportunity. We, we mention them as preseason uh, superlatives, and then they end up making us look good. Well, you know, that's one of the big things. You know, when you do preseason stuff, you want to make sure that the people that you pick, they can end up at the end of the year also as all-star pick, all-by-city picks. 
But I think one of the biggest things, right, especially with the girls, the girls are, uh, I'm going to say, DJ, a step ahead of the guys in basketball. And you got all these scouts coming in, checking out all these kids. Uh, really, one of the biggest things about it, this is a basketball area also. The girls are taking it to another level. You know, we, we, we got to mention, we can't mention basketball, girls basketball, without mentioning Sterling Hicks and the Kendrick piece. Kendrick is going to the, you know, the, in the playoffs from another region as Columbus, Carver. Those are the top three teams that we had in the magazine. Those are the top three teams that we expected to be in the position that they really are. And just for the record, and I know you guys don't get too technical, but the regions, the Carver and Columbus and those other schools, region 5A, and, of course, Kendrick dropped down to 3A. So, right. you know, they're playing in different places, different parts of of, of the state as far as the uh, the, the, the the state playoffs. But uh, we're going to definitely keep everybody informed. Well, you know, just remember this. All <laughs> of them, if you go to Macon, you're playing in the championship. So we hope to see all of them down in Macon. All right. And you know what? Before we get out of here, we might as well go ahead and let everybody know, because I know the baseball enthusiasts oh, out there, come and being the baseball hotbed that it is right here in the Chattahoochee Valley, high school baseball is officially underway. Un officially underway, DJ. And I was over at uh, the signing over at Columbus High School with Jared Lee and everybody at baseball. Don't tell sports fans, don't forget baseball starting next <laughs> week. Everybody knows baseball in this by city starts next week. It's going to be some interesting games. Uh, can Columbus hold it in the road? Can Central uh, win a state championship under Bobby Howard? You know, those are going to be some interesting storylines, but baseball starts this week. And like you said, Major League Baseball, everybody's reporting next week. Right, absolutely. We'll be right back after this. A smile is the most admirable thing you can wear. And for anyone age 1 to 101, Cook Dental Care has a smile for you. Dr. Kathy L. Cook offers a wide range of individualized, innovative services from basic preventative dentistry to specialized care. We provide comprehensive dental care for the entire family, including pediatric. Insurance, financing, walk-ins, and new patients are always welcome. So for your family's dental care, visit Cook Dental Care. Someone's sandbagging. I'd be tired too. He paid my claim in one day when I got hurt. One day? Serious hustle. Serious duck. In just one day, we process a proven pay. One day pay, only from Aflac. Scott Sawyer with Diverse Power. Diverse Power wants our customers to enjoy all the benefits that reliable, consistent electric service provides. Our BPI certified technicians offer duct blaster testing of your HVAC ductwork to locate leaks. We also offer a full blower door examination that will qualify homeowners and home builders to meet the new Energy Code building standards. At Diverse Power, we offer innovation through vision, quality through service. Truth be truth. The will to win will win. So intimidate your darkest fear. Revive every forgotten fantasy. Set goals you can never reach, then reach them. Count cards to fight fates that deck. And if you want to win as much as you want to live, you're ready to reign on. And welcome back to today's final segment. Dale, I tell you, man, just a, just a great time of year. You talk about... Uh, the Chattahoochee Valley Hall of Fame newest inductees. Congratulations to all of the inductees, especially Tim Walton as well as uh, Jimmy Blanchard. And, uh, you know, again, we said a mouthful, but, you know, the Chattahoochee Valley Hall of Fame is a great institution to honor athletes, but there's so many more that we want to see get in there. There's so many more that we want to see get in there, and I'm sure Jim White's going to make sure that those guys get in there. It's a lot. It's a plethora of people that want to get in there, but at the same time, we acknowledge those that did get in, Billy Blanchard, uh, Tim Walton, very good. I think that's a very good class, DJ, good people. Uh, and really, there's some more people that's going to get in. And also, what can we say about the outstanding ceremony that we had over at Carver High School? Of course, uh, when we had the Golden Football presentation, of course, a commemorative ceremony from the NFL 50th Super Bowl anniversary. And Brinson Buckner, Rod Hood, and Nate Odoms, you know, three fine young athletes that started their careers right there at Carver High School, went on to do great things in the National Football League, and, of course, make the presentation 
to the, of the Golden Ball back to the school where it all started? I mean, really, any time that you can give the, the high school that you come from some attention and some acknowledgement, that's always big. Increases the awareness of how good your school is and the football program has been in the past. Anytime you can do that, that's an A+. Plus. And you know what? We're talking, of course, we, we mentioned that the state high school playoffs uh, started last week. And hopefully, again, by that, this time, the, sh this, of course, the, the day that this show, the show is being taped, we have some teams that will continue to push and vie for a state championship. That's right. If somebody from Columbus is going to be pushing for a championship, you can put your last dollar on that. And again, let's end it by gear. Major League Baseball is about to, to, to start <laughs> up. Of course, we're right here at the at the halfway mark of the NBA season. They get ready to start the second half of the NBA. But a you know, special shout-out to a good friend of Sports Vision. You know, Edwin Jackson is a guy that we know and love, and we always talk about his wonderful giving and of his uh, benevolence here in the community. But Edwin is going to have an opportunity to go back for, I believe, his 14th or 15th year. That's right. And, uh, again, he's ended the season with the Atlanta Braves. That's right. Signed back with the Marlins down there. Of course, going to be playing down in Florida. So, hey, he's got another opportunity. To hey, he's, hey he's, this kid got favor all <laughs> over. I mean, they can't keep him out of Major League Baseball. Also, we want to uh, give a shout-out to Gary Ingram, still with the Braves, batting instructor. Hopefully, they're going to bring this guy up. Because I'm going to tell you, DJ, the only player I know on the Braves right now Pray for Freddie Freeman because everybody else gone. I don't know who else down there now. And of course, superstar mm -hmm. Corey Rasmus. We know what with his, what his, uh, what he's done with the uh, Astros out there. It was just phenomenal. And and again, all the all the players that are from the area that we didn't mention that are having an opportunity to go to spring training, whether they make the majors, whether they go back to the minors. But we just wish you well, and we hope that uh, you have the successful season that you wish for. That's going to be good, and really, that might be something that we could put in the next magazine, DJ. Without a doubt. All our local people, all our local talent that is playing baseball from college all the way to the Major League Baseball. All right. Well, that's going to do it for all the time we have for today's show. For Dale Williams, I'm DJ Jones reminding you to keep your eye on the ball. Have a great week. Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you.